If you take a look at the user service class, you'll notice that there's a fundamental problem with it. The user service needs to use a logger class to log when it's fetching a user, but the way it's doing it is making its own logger object from within its own constructor. This means, for example, if I was to add more functionality to the logger later on, I very well may need to modify the user service and any other service that uses it as well. This could also mean if I wanted to mock this during testing, I'd have to modify the user service class directly, which violates the open close principle in solid programming. This is where dependency injection comes in. Now, the reason this works in the way that it does is that we actually provide the logger directly to the user service, which means as far as the user service is concerned, it doesn't care what the logger is. It just needs that interface to log something, which is this line here. Any other part about how the logger is implemented is handled outside of itself. And that is all you need to know about the basics of dependency injection.